What's going on, you guys? Thanks for stopping back to the channel. I am your older than average gamer. Today, we have some six days in Fallujah gameplay, and we're going to chat a little bit about this game. Um, before we get going, I just want to say that this, I think, has some huge, huge, huge upside and potential. Um, day one, though, which was Thursday, my friend Chris T and I, I ran into some issues. Pretty much every time we got into a firefight, my game would start having audio issues where uh, I'd get tons of echoing. Uh, it sounded like the game was having an epileptic seizure, uh, audio-wise. Not real good. It really made it unplayable, essentially. Now, having said that, obviously not good, but the very next day, uh, the folks, uh, the developers of, the, of Six Days uh, released a hotfix that not only fixed this problem, which was due to spatial audio and windows, but they also added an FOV slider. They added the ability to turn off head bob. They added the ability to turn off an upscaler, which I found to be a wonderful thing. It made my game look incredibly uh, a whole lot better. We'll just say that. Um, also, graphic settings not reverting back to default. Not a huge yield there, but that's a nice thing to just make sure you've got figured out. Now, Chris's experience right out of the gate seemed to be a little more, uh, let's just say, with less trouble, uh, but uh, he did, however, have an instance where he lost power uh, in the house and it was a really rough first go. Uh, we tried streaming, had to quit doing that, couldn't use most of what we recorded. It was a real, real interesting first day, we'll just say that. But something about the gameplay we noticed is this game is really difficult. <laughs> I think on one occasion, Chris and I running as just a two-man team may have gotten sort of close to completing a mission, uh, but this game, I think, undoubtedly is really built uh, to play with a four-man group, no matter what you're doing, when at all possible, at least until you really know what you're doing with this game and you understand more of the mechanics happening in front of you. But it's really impossible, and this is intentional, obviously, it's impossible to know where enemies are going to be coming from uh, each time you play a particular mission because of the procedural generation that goes on in this game. Uh, let me tell you this, too. Once I got the graphics figured out, the game looks beautiful. At first, I was a little a little bit, uh, you know, worried because it didn't look great. Uh, but then once I got the, the graphics things figured out, it's it, it was a world of difference, uh, and the game really took on a new life. The audio, when it was working... Uh, even earlier, but now today and since yesterday, working fantastically sounds very good as well. Um, like I said, though, this game definitely built for four people. So don't go into this expecting that you'll be able to run through missions either solo or even as duos and have a ton of success like that, if any at all. Yesterday, I played for a little while while I could. I had a long work day, but I was able to play with um, a group of four, including myself, uh, in a random matchmaking lobby, and one of the other people in that lobby confirmed that they had played this game all day during launch and never completed a mission. So the difficulty level is real, and I'd be very interested to see um, how long it takes for people to start feeling more confident in mission, and I'm curious to see if people complain about it too. I don't really have a problem with the difficulty because... I mean, it's just the nature of this kind of game, but I'll be curious to see how the, the community that's going to start being built around this does react to that. Now, obviously my initial desire here was to either, well, really was to do two things. It was to do a stream on the day of launch and then do a gameplay video for you guys who don't typically watch streams or just aren't around during that time. Um, wasn't able to really do either of those. I did get a bunch of gameplay, but so much of it was unusable, or I also then ran into an issue where my mic, uh, the default microphone setting was switched to a, the wrong mic, so it didn't pick up my voice, which was real cool. Long story short, though, um, definitely going to be doing more content on this in the week ahead. Um, hopefully going to be getting back in with Chris, and we're going to have a more seamless experience than we did on the opening day here. But all in all, We've got a really cool game in our hands, um, and maybe the most team-oriented game that I've played. It's the closest thing I can compare it to maybe is Ready or Not, but in a, obviously, a military uh, venue rather than police. Um, I, I, like its, I like its movement mechanics a little bit better as well. 
Um, and then just the overall tone, I kind of, this is just a really cool game with a lot of, a lot of potential. Um, drop a comment below. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing more Six Days in Fallujah content. By more, I mean seeing any, uh, because this was more commentary. But I appreciate you guys stopping by. I love you so much. We'll see you later.